about Stanford that your team plays so well, well against them? Well, I think, number one, we have a great and tremendous respect for the program for what it's been, um, not only in the Pac-10 conference, but uh, really throughout the nation. It kind of is the, the flag carrier for the Pac-10 and has represented us so well uh, in, in not only the Pac-10, but in, as well in the NC2A tournament. So I think there's just a great amount of respect for their program and how they play, and I think every team probably gets up for Stanford and, and tries to measure themselves, number one, against them, and two, um, you know, really they have that big bullseye on their back that everybody wants wants to get. So I think it's a combination of things, but mostly the respect for their program. And you seem to match up pretty well with them. I think we match up well because I think we play a lot of the same way. We, d we do have different types of uh, athletes and use them a little bit differently. But I think our coaching staff and their coaching staff sees the game uh, in the same way. We like to um, use the skill of our players and have our players uh, be in control of the game in the sense that try to allow it to be their game. And uh, I know if you watch Tara coaching from the sidelines, she doesn't do a lot of in-the-game coaching uh, and doesn't do a lot of directing. But when she does speak, I think it's very well heard and her, and her team follows her direction. There's such a successful week last week. How do you avoid a letdown this week? Well, it, you know, it's just something that our players need to need to know in their hearts and in their minds, and uh, we can't afford a letdown. I think they really understand that. I think we knew that going up to Washington. We had a couple of circumstances that we didn't get over and didn't get behind us. We still had some time to make up for that. We don't have any more time to make up for anything, and I think, think our players are aware of that. Uh, I think that yesterday's practice was very intense. I you know, maybe anticipated a little bit of a letdown because of the way that we did play, but it seems like our team has really rallied around the fact that when we practice well, intensely, and compete against each other, we're really ready to play the game on Thursday. So what you did last week and that you've had you have beaten Stanford, do you feel that already that this team has probably done enough to be in the tournament? You know, you never, you never ever want to put, you know, your destiny in other people's hands, and so really what our focus is is just really to get down and play well. That's all That's all we focused on this year, regardless of the weekend that we played, is to play well, to play together, to play hard, and to play smart. And when we've done that, then we look after um, the big things. And so that's our focus. I, I don't think our team feels comfortable at all. I think our team is still very hungry to make sure that we do all that we can to secure a spot uh, in that tournament. You know, Bershaw is back in their lineup. She played very limited against you guys. I think she'll, there'll be a difference. Oh, yeah, there has been a difference. Uh, I know that when she was here, she was just working herself off of her injury back into the lineup. That takes some time. We know that. Uh, and I think they really are firing in all pistons. I think Susan Borchardt gives them that third point guard on the floor. Uh, her and Candace Wiggins really seem to fuel off of each other. And they've got a tremendous inside-outside combination uh, with Brooke Smith inside. Tanae Teal is very quiet this year, but she gets her work done. And then, of course, you have that outstanding freshman, Candace Wiggins, who even Tara calls their X Factor. They haven't lost since they, they lost to you. Are they better than they played the first time? I believe they are. I believe because of that combination with Borchert back in their lineup, I think Brooke Smith was someone who uh, was still learning the ropes of Stanford basketball. Uh, they've really gone on a tear. Uh, Tara has been quoted as saying they learned a lot about uh, what it takes to win on the road from the road trip here in Oregon. And, and uh, you know, that's something that we have to learn as well, too, to, to be as aggressive and to be as sharp and to be as focused on the road as we are here at Matt Court.